is Sheree, what's up? Back with another video. It's time for another vlog, y'all. I have not done a vlog in a long time. I know some of y'all really love the vlogs. So we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. <laughs> I'm in a good mood, clearly. How are y'all doing? I feel like we haven't really talked for real, for real in a long time. We're going to change that, but I just wanted to intro this vlog. And if you are new here and you've never seen my face, but you like my face because I'm cute, definitely be sure to subscribe so you can stick around. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more vlogs. And let's get into it. How y'all didn't tell me about Parade? Shout out to Parade for sponsoring this portion of the video. Parade has bralettes underwear, loungewear, all the undergarment things you will ever need, and they're affordable, they're sustainable, the underwear is comfy, and ain't nobody tell me. First of all, this may look like a regular, degular, full panty, but nah, this is a high-waisted thong, y'all. I can't prove it to y'all for YouTube, but just know it's giving thong realness in the back, but the front covers the fupa. And I've never, in my history of being plus size and wearing panties, had a thong that was so comfortable. I am not a thong girly. I usually don't wear them because they're uncomfortable. But when I say this is soft, stretchy, moves with me. Y'all, I am obsessed. So many times plus size underwear look like your grandma's panties, but not with Parade. Not with Parade. They have so many styles. They have boy shorts, cheeky sets, full brief panties. If that's what you're into, they're sexy, they're colorful, they're fun. Especially as a plus size person, I don't always feel seen. But then I go on their website and I see other women with full bellies and rolls, flat butts, big butts, everything in between, cellulite, rolls, all these imperfections that society says we have to hide. Parade is like, nah, we gonna put it on display. And I love that. They offer sizes extra small, all the way to 5XL. I am just so happy to tell y'all about this brand because a comfortable thong, a comfortable Thong Parade is even offering y'all a coupon code for 50% off the website and they're already affordable. Use the code DELSO50. I'll leave it right here on the screen as well as down below. But I'll continue on with my day giving Winnie Pooh realness and let's continue on with the vlog. Is my wig as high as my expectations? As high as my confidence? Because I just threw this shit on to be honest. I just threw it on. But I'm kind of excited today, y'all. I'm getting something done for the first time. I'll be doing micro-needling with PRP. And I, I'm i excited, but I'm also kind of nervous. Because I don't know if it's, is it going to hurt. Is it going to be painful? Like, what the downtime is going to look like? Like, am I going to look better than I look now? Am I going to look worse? Because... You know, like when it comes to black and brown skin, it's always like, eek. The good thing is that the provider is actually a brown woman. So I'm excited. More excited than nervous. But I always have nerves. Even when I get my hair done, y'all know how I get. But yeah, I this is what the skin is giving right now. Just some moisturizer and sunscreen. Um, my biggest skin insecurity would have to be my under eyes. Um, just because I feel like I always look tired even when I'm rested i'm not rested today because we went to virginia yesterday and back and it's just been a long day and we've done that this is the second time doing that we have some things going on but like yeah it's just been a lot um so i'm tired but i'm excited so i'm not gonna make this intro too long let's head to the suite we're gonna be doing a full consultation consultation on Shere. So right now we're going to actually look at photos together. The reason why I like us to look at the TV screen together, oftentimes when I give you a small mirror, people always go to the good side, right? And we want to see objectively what you look like at all angles. We're going to look at her skin integrity and how her wrinkles are, even though she has none. 
I don't know that. <laughs> Girl, you have none. <laughs> All right, babe. So what I'm going to have you do is you're going to look at that screen. You know what you mentioned before was, let's go, look at that cute smile. Look at you. <laughs> let's see where this neutral face. Okay. So I know what was initially bothering you why you came in here is because of the dark under eye circles, right? right. I have to tell you that's more pigment than yeah. actually um, like dark under eyes because as we get older, yeah. we lose our bone mass. So what ends up happening is this orbital rim will start to fall down mm -hmm. and then that's how you get that sunken in look. Yeah. You don't have that, babe. <laughs> So the thing is, you have such beautiful cheeks, the way to fix this is actually to go in with filler, but I'm not doing that for you because I don't want your cheeks and the under eye fillers to match. It should never be like kind yeah. of, you know, linear. Right. So I love it. Leave it alone. What I'm going to do for you is when we do micro needling, this part right here, we're going to pull down the skin and we're going to micro needle. So people mm -hmm. are like, what is micro needling, right? right? So the whole idea is you make the most collagen and elastin when you're 16 years old. You lose one to 2% every year. So Sheree, how old are you? 32. 32, girl. So you're still making some, but you're not optimal. So what no. it's gonna do is it's gonna help stimulate collagen and elastin, essentially around your whole face, but we're really gonna concentrate around this area um, to help bring and make new so off. how do I, so how do I, I, I think we talked about this like on yeah. the phone. Like my main concern is not only the darkness, but also like the fine lines around yeah. my eyes. Yeah. So like now that you see me in person, like is there something that can be done to like address that or like no? So that's natural. Do I want to make you look like an <laughs> owl? No, but if you look at like my toddlers, they yeah. have it too. Right. So the best that I could do, and this is completely off label, yeah. is to pull down your skin and to really get those lines. Mm. Do I want them to go away? No, because you're going to look weird. It's a, okay. it's a normal part of aging, yeah. but like again, like my baby has that, right. you know? <laughs> Um, I want to be one again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, babe. So you have beautiful, beautiful skin. Thank you. So what's insane to me is that you don't have Botox and you're someone that would probably be like, no, you're lying because your movement of when you try to lift up your, that's you trying to lift up your <laughs> eyebrows and you yeah. try to put your eyebrows together, <laughs> which is insanity to me because I'm like, how do you not have tox? So you yeah, better yeah. not get Botox. You better not have anyone convince you to get Botox because you don't need it. So mm -hmm. all we're really going to do is help the skin integrity. So what I'm talking about is your smile lines. Here. Yeah, those are getting pronounced. Yes. So we're going to help soften that up okay. with the micro needling. You have a minor little scar on your nose. We'll try to get that area too to help soften that Yeah, that's that some up. chicken pox when I was like eight. And so is that the, the residual scarring from yeah. that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, but you have really beautiful skin. You got to tell you. me what you're doing for your skincare regimen. Thank you. Um, even this side, you were very, very smooth. So honestly, we're doing micro needling as a maintenance for you. It's okay. not even corrective because yeah. you already have beautiful skin to begin with. So we're kind of just going above that. Stop hyping me. Out. I'm being serious. <laughs> I'm being serious. Me out. Like I can't like. If you show people this and I'm like, oh, honey, no, you got to fix this up. I will look fucking crazy, you know? <laughs> so you have really minimal, minimal, like even texture, minimal fine lines. Okay, so I know you have a little scar. Yeah, on my eyebrows. that's so, much when I was six. Yeah. So we're definitely going to try to go over that area. Oh, wow. To help. Okay. So I hate that scar. Oh, we'll definitely try to help minimize that scar too. Okay. And then let's go this way. So again, we can see the scar line. You don't even have like much prominent pores. Like maybe, I'm guessing that's from the chicken pox or so, maybe some minor pores here, but really nothing bad. Whatever you're doing for your skin, keep doing it. Thank you. There is some discoloration around your mouth and lower. So yep. with micro needling, because we're creating new skin cells, that mm -hmm. would definitely help with that Oh as God, because well. that's also like an insecurity. It's like yes. the corner of my mouth. Yeah, so we'll definitely target those areas for sure. And then, like, yeah, your skin texture is, like, marvelous. I'm gonna thank my mom. <laughs> Girl, she gave she you skin too. such amazing <laughs> jeans. Like, seriously. <laughs> like, I don't really have anything to say about you. Like, 
It's really, we're just going to help stimulate collagen and elastin. It's going to be for maintenance. We'll help with some hyperpigmentation and we'll yeah. help with some residual scarring that you have. Other than that, like, you're perfect. Oh my God. Girl, you are. <laughs> <laughs> You ready, girl? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Tell me what you're doing for your skincare regimen. So it's funny that you like mentioned my skincare regimen because I only started doing skincare two years ago. Okay. Um, but um, I'm an obsessive person. So once I got into skincare, like I watched all the videos and did all the research. So what are you doing? So I started Tretinoin like six you months did. ago. That's freaking why. Yeah. That's so I think why. Tret was like had, has made a, like a major improvement. That's exactly yeah, why. Yeah. But you know, a lot of people don't know that. Oh, yet. really? Yes. Like retinol and tretinoin. Like they're freaking amazing. Yeah, I watch all the YouTube folks. So like tretinoin and then... Which like, brand most, are you using? Um, I use like this brand from Mexico. My friend brought me some Tret from Mexico. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pharmacy. <laughs> like it's not like... like whatever it is that's <laughs> working for you. Um, no, Tret in Mexico, you can get it over the counter compared okay. to here. Okay. So it's, yeah, it's literally just like Tret from the pharmacy. Um, and yeah, and then of course sunscreen. Sunscreen is a big thing. Yes. I, I wear it every day. Right. Um, and, you know, like Korean skincare, I'm big on Korean skincare. Girl, you know that they're like 20 years ahead of us when it Girl, comes they're to so advanced. Yeah. yeah, when it comes to aesthetic skincare regimen, even Europe is way ahead of yeah. us. Yeah. I don't know why we're so behind. Because FDA. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, I know, and I'm a baby, so numb me up, baby. Okay. So this is the numbing, right? Yes, love. Oh. So there are some spicy areas that I want to warn you about. So when we microneedle over your nose, under your eyes, and around your mouth. But those mm -hmm. are the three common areas you want me to microneedle. No, so I'm sure you're not going to be like, stop. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> you're going to be like, come on, girl, let's Keep do going. it. Keep going. Push through. <laughs> Push through it, okay? No, I did laser hair removal on my face, and I did the upper lip. Oh, my God. Girl, I know. It's spicy. Ooh, it is. It's very, very spicy. With microneedling with PRP, and we'll go over this again. We'll go over this a few times because there's a lot going on. You are to not touch your face for 24 hours, okay? okay. You're having 3 million injection points, mm -hmm. so that's a high risk for an infection, right? So, so do not mm -hmm. touch your face, mm -hmm. do not put any cleanser, do not wash your face, do mm -hmm. not do anything. When you go home, um, put a clean pillowcase on mm -hmm. and you're going to sleep on your back, okay? Okay. Tomorrow at 10.30 is when you get to wash your face okay. for the first time, okay? okay? So... Yes, it's going to be bloody. It's going to look like a murder scene. You're mm -hmm. not going to be glowing and pretty after this. Okay. And that PRP is yellow, so it's going to look really rusty. And okay. then you're going to start to feel really itchy and things like that. Okay. So usually when I do it without PRP, I could give you a cooling mask. I could give you all this like type of gels. With the stem cells, I can't touch that. Okay. So you're going to just have to fight through it. Okay. You're going to have the urge to scratch your face. You do not okay. touch your face. Okay. You're going to start to see it peel probably by day two. Do not touch it. Just okay. let it peel naturally. Okay? okay. So the guidelines say that you could wear makeup post 24 hours. I don't wear makeup for two, three days. You okay. Know? Just because you have all well, that's these fine. Like, I, scars and stuff yeah, like I, that. I, I hardly wear makeup when, so when just I'm give filming. Your, yeah, just give your skin a break. Okay. You know, and just like let it rest. Yeah. Guys, this is Sheree's blood right here. And I that's got That's not her. creepy. <laughs> <laughs> and I drew her blood on the first shot she too. Did. She and did. she said she's a hard one. And she is a hard one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the plasma from this and this is gonna have the stem cells that we're gonna put back into her face. So see this beauty? It's supposed to be even more beautiful. So we put it through a centrifuge. So this right here is just a weight because it's gonna keep spinning for 10 minutes. So we put this in here. Then we're gonna lock it. And then this is just the speed of how fast we spin it. And then this is just for how long we're going to do it for. So we're going to do it for 10 minutes, okay? So we have it locked. And we're going to press start. And then you guys will see. It's going to start spinning. We'll see you in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get my nails. But look at this beauty. Bye. Look at this. We're going to put this beautiful PRP. We have our PRP here. We have the vacutainer with the syringe. So we're going to just put it through the vacutainer. And then we're gonna draw up this beauty. Look at all of that. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, 
yes and then we're gonna get all of that and then twist off and then there we go and this is just the prp this is like my little lubricant oh he just relaxed you okay yeah okay I don't want the numbing to run out, and then I'm like, oh, I want to die. Yeah. I'm going to skip this area because okay. you have a pimple right there. So, microneedling addresses scarring, hyperpigmentation, wrinkles, fine lines, texture issues. Um, for you, you do have some mild scarring, and you said that was from, you know, um, chicken pox when you were mm -hmm. a kid and I know there were some skincare issues mm -hmm. um so I'm definitely gonna help tackle those scars mm -hmm. and to help minimize them for sure Be like, oh, freaking zombie. Whew. Just got it done. Right now, my face feels stiff, like I'm doing like an Aztec clay mask, and it's like a slight, it's not even burning, like a slight uncomfortable feeling, but nothing serious. And I'm a baby, y'all. Y'all know I was crying when I did microblading, so it's fine. So I'll definitely update y'all, so. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. Hey y'all, what's up? I'm on my way back to the city. I was just in the city a few days ago. I got a massage and you'll probably see that footage running right now. And I also got a facial. It was a busy Sunday, it was a self-care Sunday. No, I don't think so. Okay, how about eczema, rosacea? No. Are you on any prescriptions other than retinol or topical medication for your skin? No. Do you have any metal or electric devices inside of your body? No. Okay, you're not pregnant or nursing, no. are you? No, okay, I good. better not be. <laughs> Hello, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus! Tell <laughs> 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 me, what are you, like your goals and concerns for your skin? Um, I definitely want to lighten my hyperpigmentation. Okay. Um, and also smooth out the textured parts of my skin. Okay. Like my forehead. It's sure. not as smooth as like my cheeks. Okay. Um, so that's honestly like my major concern. I think my skin looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, but lightening up everything, just keeping everything clear okay. honestly your skin I, I thought it was gonna be like really dehydrated and stripped but it's it's actually not like it's not in bad shape at all what, what i do see is we have some micro clogging and that's what's causing the texture on the forehead that you're concerned about mm -hmm. and i'm looking at you with a five time magnification lamp so i can mm -hmm. see everything so mm -hmm. i just see like tiny clogging in the pores mm -hmm. and i want to help to like reduce and get rid of that today so okay. we're gonna do um a microdermabrasion Okay. We're gonna do a very gentle diamond tip microdermabrasion and it comes with a foaming peel aspect too So it's like two in one. Okay. Um, it's super gentle. It's not too aggressive and I think your skin is actually gonna love it Okay, okay great. All right. yeah.
love we are all set <laughs> definitely recommend that you check out beauty therapy session she was amazing we had a great conversation kiki as always it was great it's owned by a young black woman she's around my age and she's doing great things it was a great experience today i'm actually headed back to the city like i said i'm going to two different events with two different brands this is we'll hang out right here in the skin wisdom gallery so come on oh, wow. in. as you enter the space you're going to notice that we are surrounded by this combination of books and beakers and what this is designed to represent in physical space is philosophies almost 30 years of deep clinical research on uh, not the this one but the fragrance Ooh. I'll spray on my pillows and on my sheets and yeah, that's cool. where'd you go I only shot it for Instagram, but I'll put a little bit of a montage in here. I went to their CoverGirl Creator Studio. Basically, they created a studio in their office, which is in the Empire State Building, where creators could come and shoot content. Obviously, the benefit to them is that they get CoverGirl content essentially for free, right? Um, um, and But they did have like products that you could use, you could go with. If I'm being honest, I do not want to wash my hair today, but my scalp is on fire. I am one day shy of two weeks. Um, been pushing my wash day child because I just, I'm not tired of my hair. I'm tired of doing my hair. Like wash day, like I enjoy wash day in a sense, but I also don't at the same time because I've been doing this for a long time. Um, so I'm kind of just over it a little bit. I'm going through a season of my life of less. And wash day is more, you know what I'm saying? So, we didn't wash it. Um, I was trying to stretch it to tomorrow, but I can't. My scalp is, my scalp is on fire, but my hair itself, this moisture would probably last two weeks. Like, my hair feels like I just moisturized it yesterday. Um, I've been, um using this new leave-in and it's fire like talk about moisture and hydration okay um so yeah my scalp i was trying to make it twerk but it not work so let's get her done let's get her done i have a call like in an hour so let's see how much i can get done before my call so <sighs> I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be the reason why. Usually I go in with like a jelly pre poo or a creamy pre poo, but I've been trying to use up the clay washes that I have. This one is discontinued, so it doesn't make sense talking about it. So I'm just going to go in with a clay mask as my pre poo. It won't detangle my hair. Um, I do prefer to, you know, use jelly pre poos to start the detangling process, but we're experimenting. We're experimenting, um, going back to clays because I kind of fell off with that. So, if y'all still primarily use clay, let me know how that's going. I've been using shampoo a lot more lately because honestly, that's what I have and I'm just not buying nothing. I'm just using what I got. So let me know if you make it to this point in the video, because most of y'all done clicked off.
filing my nails down because they're always just always something you don't want to snag your hair the point of using your fingers is to keep your hair from breaking off and if your nails are snagging your hair you're working backwards babe you're defeating the purpose babe I have fine hair and I have fine nails my nails are very just thin and gross so I'm truly lucky to even have hair on my head. I rinsed out the clay wash. I did a scalp, like an ACV scalp treatment. And I did a co-wash. My hair feels like it needs some. It was feeling soft before, but now it's like, moisturize me. So we're going to do that. This is what I'm going in with. I made a DIY mix using the Curly Proverbs Amla Mask. Yo, the Curly Proverbs Amla Mix. I think it has Amla, it has Bring Raj, I think Aloe and Fenugreek. I'm not sure. Either way, y'all know Curly Proverbs, Farida, OG, DIY on here, beautiful hair. Um, I did a video with her Amla mask a few years ago. Um, I respect her so much for paying me my rate and just like respecting me, respecting my content. Well, it was several years ago, I think back in 2021, like three years ago. She's amazing. I love her. And I had some of the Amla mix that she sent. And just trying to get through my product over the years, you know, I didn't get to it. But now I've gotten to it and I love it. And I highly recommend it. I don't have a coupon code or anything like that. So if you're still into DIYing and you're looking for a quality powder, highly recommend that. And even if you're not into DIYing, but you kind of want to like baby DIY and just add like a teaspoon or a tablespoon to your conditioner, highly recommend you do that. It has great slip. It has great moisture. I used it a few wash days ago and I made enough for like two uses. This is my second use. And... It's so good. It's just amazing, truly. I'd be convincing myself that my hair isn't growing, and I'd be like, F it, whatever. And then I do stuff like this, and I'm just like, oh, girl, it is growing. It's just shrinkage, babe. It's just shrinkage. That Curly Proverbs Amla mask ain't nothing like it. Definitely check it out. Whether they're original Amla or the Amla mix, they're both amazing. In terms of that wash day though, that moisture lasted me over two weeks. I did not have to re-moisturize my hair. Actually, it took me like three weeks to wash my hair. And throughout that 
two weeks, two weeks plus, it was like two weeks and two days. I didn't add any additional moisture. So I took down like a little bit of one braid and the inside of my hair was still super duper soft. It was just the outside that's more exposed to the elements that felt just a tad bit dry, but nothing serious. Honestly, that moisture lasted so, 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 so good. Um, Let me know if y'all want a video on like products I've been loving. I feel like every time I do favorites videos, y'all don't really watch them. But, like, I found a really good leave-in, and I would love to tell y'all about it if y'all are interested. If not, it's okay. But, like I said, dang, y'all hitting me off. And no one is talking about this leave-in, but I've been raving about it, like, for, for weeks in the Insider Tea. Um, if you want me to do, like, a favorites video, let me know. I just don't really know where we all stand here on YouTube. Before I end this vlog, though, I do want to say that in terms of micro needling, I had a great experience. Sarah G is an amazing person, an amazing businesswoman. But in terms of micro micro needling, I gotta be honest, I don't see any huge improvements to my skin. Um, like if looking at my skin, maybe there are, there are some subtle changes. Like maybe the scar on my face is maybe less pronounced, but my eyes look so red, I'm tired. Um, maybe there's some subtle changes, but in terms of me actually looking at my face and like examining my face, seeing my face on camera all the time without makeup, I can't see a huge improvement, if I'm gonna be honest. If y'all have had any experience with microneedling, let me know what your experience has been. I think you will probably have more pronounced um, results or more dramatic results if you had super dark or prominent acne marks. Although I definitely have a lot of imperfections on my skin, they're not super duper dark. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more vlogs, y'all know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. A like goes such a long way. And if you don't want to see vlogs, you can also tell me why down below. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. Bye, y'all.